Today on Indie Comic Spotlight, I want to talk about a book that came to my attention when I started researching and learning about the indie comic scene, Common America. Special shout out to Tyler Carpenter over at Draw and Talk. It was his video about Common America that led me to give the book a try. So once you finish this video, head on over there and check out his as well, because he also has an interview there with Timothy Lynn, one of the creators of the book. So I'll link it in the comments below. So the comic was co-created by Timothy Lim and Mark Pellegrini, and they just finished their latest Kickstarter, which was volume five of their book. So I picked that up as well as the omnibus. I could not go through to the volumes fast enough. I absolutely loved this comic. If I had to describe it in one simple phrase, it would be fun. I mean, I know it seems like an oversimplification, but that really is the best way to describe this comic. And I think too, just at this point in my, you know, comic reading and collecting, I really just needed a story like this. Just something that was, that was fun and lighthearted and it came at the right time for me. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. I'm just going to cover the basics so you'll know. So it basically follows a character called Carly Vanders who really just wants to be a fashion designer. And that's exactly how we're introduced to her during a time when she's just simply trying to show off all her fashion designs. And I love this intro for her because it's very reminiscent of the uh, Captain America movie when he's going stage to stage dressed in the classic costume. This all changes for her one night when she's hit by a strange energy from space. After waking up in Area 51, yes, the Area 51, she finds that she can now call down these superpowers. But they not only give her powers, but they also change her appearance as well. They pose some interesting dilemmas to Carly, like when an agency wants to basically turn her into a brand name and she has to decide if that's the right thing to do or if she just simply wants to be a hero or go back to fashion designing. They explore Carly's various friendships with the people that surround her now that she is a superhero. They found a pretty neat way to incorporate her faith into the story as well, which I really appreciated. But they never forget to have fun in this comic, and like I've mentioned many times already, that's the main thing I can take away from this. I mean, one of the first bad guys she fights is called the Gordosaurus. I mean, come on, how can you not find that entertaining? I've heard some people describe it as My Hero Academia meets Sailor Moon, and honestly, I don't think that's a bad comparison, because I love both those animes, and I feel because I know them both, I was able to understand a lot of the homages in here and get some of the inside jokes. I know it's super easy to spoil stuff nowadays, so I'm not going to show you which are the teammates that are coming, because I want you to enjoy it. So if you haven't been spoiled yet, if you don't know the names of the other teammates, do yourself a favor and just go read these comics and find out for yourself because I enjoyed it so much more just learning it on my own. Especially nowadays when, you know, just it feels like everything is spoiled so it's hard to actually, you know, enjoy something without being surprised. <clears throat> Looking at you, Sony. So head on over to IconicComics.com. I'll put the link in the description below. And until then, continue to follow us as we work on our next comic, Malia Mayhem number one. And we'll see you guys next time.